Our top story, Israel is moving to protect hundreds of its nationals, including the regime's military affairs minister, Benny Gantz, who might be subject to war crimes probes by the International Criminal Court. Gantz says Israel, which is not a member of the court, rejects the ICC's jurisdiction and is working on how to protect the Israelis against possible probes. The Hague-based tribunal ruled last month that it has jurisdiction of Gaza Strip and East Jerusalem Al-Quds, and the ruling could lead to criminal investigations in the area. The ICC is set to look into Israel's disproportionate use of force in the 2014 war on Gaza, its settlement activities, and the regime's deadly response to the 2018 protests by Palestinians. Let's bring in Mr. Tim Anderson, director for Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies via Skype out of Sydney to discuss this a little bit further. Mr. Anderson, it's good to see you. How do you react to the latest development regarding this uh, piece of news that I just read? Thank you. Yes, the, uh, the Zionist entity has been into this process. It has not itself signed up to the ICC, but because the ICC recognizes Palestine, uh, the UN system recognized Palestine to agree there is a, let's say, a modest movement of surveillance into the crimes of the Israeli army, particularly the um, attacks on Gaza and the home demolitions in the West Bank and so on. In, in an attempt to be even handed, they've also said they're going to investigate the um, some of the claims made by Israel against the Palestinian resistance. But it's a welcome move forward in terms of accountability and holding the Israel to uh, account for the horrific crimes that have been carried out in recent years. Well, it's been given impunity. I mean, Israel, you know, over some of uh, the uh, previous investments. Scale. Are you hopeful that this one will bring anything about and perhaps, you know, serve justice where it should? I think it's going to be a gradual process. I mean, there is also a time limit, you know, when Palestine was recognized in the UN. I believe it's in the, just in the last decade or so that the incidents are going to be investigated. I think the ICC is under tremendous pressure. Remember, the, the ICC... Um, has not moved against any of the NATO leaders for any of the crimes that they've committed, for example, in the Middle East in the last two decades. But they have tried a number of African leaders, so it seemed to be only focusing on African leaders uh, since its inception. So we can't get our expectations too high. But the fact that there is public accountability, independent accountability, um, is going to be quite important in terms of the exposure of the apartheid system in Palestine. Okay, many thanks. Tim Anderson, Director for Center, uh, Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies out of Sydney. Appreciate it.